Yeah, this is a pretty fun chapter. It's just that there can be like some pretty like hard stuff going on with it. Specifically, um, you'll see what I'm talking about when uh, we actually do this chapter. Chapter 10, The Two Mages, School of Kadine. Kadine is an independent city-state, taking orders from no foreign nation. The Archmage has many pontifices under him, governing according to their council. In the previous war, Pontifex Garnev allied with Dolher and dragged Kadine into war, and the city suffered great damage as a result. As Kadine had lost all of its pontifices, Wendell became its Archmage and started rebuilding the city. However, Wendell left on a journey to fulfill a mission given to him by Gateau. He then left Kadeen in the care of two young men. They were two skilled and promising young mages, Merrick and Elrian. Uh, I think just Merrick, not Elrian. Yeah. So this is the school of Kadeen, the sanctuary of those who study magic. Just pulling up growth rates, there we go. Indeed, Merrick studied here since he was a child. I personally have no magical ability, but as for you, Madison, you too, hmm? you're not very good at magic either. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really cut off for it. Well, everyone has their own talents. I, wor I wouldn't worry too much about it. Yeah, I don't use magic because a mage as an avatar is actually pretty hard in this game. Because, mm -hmm. like, you can be a good mage, but, like, it's pretty hard to be one in this game. Specifically this game. Okay, so, yeah, we do have, um, uh, we have... Wait, can you get this... Oh, wait, do you have to... Okay, no, you can't actually... All right, but I am going to bring it. Um, so yeah, we can bring 12 units, so let's see, um, uh, ooh, wait, can SOB use the sap ring to wield the, um, uh, the sap? He can, actually. Okay, nice. You know, I'll actually bring, um, okay, Crystal. Honestly? 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 Just bring Etzel. <laughs> I mean, I have the, I have the stat, I have the slots. No, wait, actually, I need to bring, um, I need to bring Wendell, actually. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. So there's our answer. Is she worth promoting? I don't know. It's oh, oh my like, god, Natasha, Natasha. I can understand because you know we promote her literally at level ten, so it's understandable she sucked the balls. But she had eight magic at level ten when promoted. This is Malaysia. She has a fifty percent magic growth. <laughs> she has six. Wait, I have to see. What happens if we reclass? What's her magic thing? Does it go up? I think it goes up by two. Oh my god, rest takes a five hit? Damn. Yeah, I. I don't know. <laughs> well. We can decide later. Yeah, if anything, if anything, we're if we use Lynn and Merrick, we're gonna have two stages right there who can heal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Alright, so I'll put one in and I'll give him like some stats. The thing is, the militia is the only one that can build the Hermon stuff. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the only downside. Yeah, that's my problem with her. Like, I have to use her if I want to use her. So, the speed wings, I, uh, let's see, who do we give those to? So, um. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm torn between Gordon and Ryan, honestly. I think Gordon is gonna get the speed wings. Yeah. Because I'm tired of him getting into those scary situations where he could get doubled. With the speed wings, it'll help by a little bit. And then I'm also gonna give him. Let's see. I'm gonna give him the Scorpio too. So now he has 11 speed. So at least, at least here, he should have an easier time. Mars is also gonna get the boots. So now he has 9 moves. Also, uh, I guess I'm gonna get my kill mage. So I'm pretty sure everyone has what they need. Just doing a quick check. Yeah, and yeah, I'm gonna use Etzel to actually uh, just get those chests on the side because there's two chests. You can obviously like use um like you know send someone like a thief to get them, but honestly, it's not really worth it. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, let's uh, save, and oh yeah, we have to do a house over here. And did we give out all of the uh, Star, Fear shard Star Sphere shards? Oh yeah, you're right, actually. Um, I think I have some in the convoy, though. 
Let's see, I have um, the Virgo and the Capricorn. So the Virgo and Capricorn, so that's resin magic. I guess I can give Lind, um, I guess I don't need the Elfire. And I can give her the, uh, the Capricorn. And then Wendell, because he has the slot, I'll give him the Virgo. Because mm -hmm. that actually, like, will boost his rest. Oh, wait, I never changed the time, that's right. Oh. <laughs> There we go, okay. Let's see, Paula got, okay, experience. I got a hit axe. Ooh. Mars got experience, and Sita got an Ogma's Blade. Ooh. And so, okay, that was actually, I think that's the best one we've gotten so far. That is really good. <laughs> so let's see, I actually want to take a look at those things. So what's the hit axe? Uh, an extremely accurate. Extremely accurate. The mic's not too bad either. And the, oh my god, you know, I'm actually gonna give that to Mars. 120 hit. Yeah. We're gonna give that to Mars. Damn, he's gonna make good use of that. And then we and got. Then Agma's Blade. Right, so let me see. Where is. Uh, it's C rank. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. That is not bad. Like, Ow. that has as much money as the Glass Sword and 20 crits. That's like, um, let me see, that's like a killing edge, that's literally a killing edge with four extra mind right there. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Agma doesn't mess around, I guess. Ah, uh, you know, I'm actually gonna give it to Marth, because I think he needs, he needs the extra, like, damage output. Mm -hmm. And Madison, do you think I should literally just promote Madison now? Honestly, yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's get to work on his axe ring. All right, so Madison, let's make him a god. <laughs> All right. So let's see, what is his bonus going to Oh my god, he already got six hit points. Got those nice shoulder pads. Six hit points, two strength, one magic, two skill, two speed, two defense, wow. three res, one extra move. And I can end these axes. Oh my god. <laughs> Polly, you got some competition coming up. Yeah, no kidding. All right, so he needs to get the d rank to win the hand axes. I... I think I'm gonna use the, you know, I'm actually gonna use the arm swan hand. Because I would like him to actually build hand axes. There we go. And I will grab a glass one. Alright, and I don't think anyone else is in the promotion. Sita's gonna promote once she gets the um, Elysian Whip next chapter. Bars, I want him to cap his strength, and I think if I give him a bunch of kills this chapter, he'll definitely um, uh, cap it. Mm -hmm. And Ryan and Gordon, I'm thinking Gordon's gonna promote soon. Ryan, I want to give him a few more extra levels. I think once they both hit level 15, that's when I'm gonna promote them. Mm -hmm. And then Maris, um... Oh yeah, we're gonna get Maris this chapter. I almost forgot. Alright. Sir Madison, Mary told me much about you. How before becoming a knight, you spent your days training in Altair Castle. Yes, I still remember the days when I fought together with my fellow knights in training. I see, with your companions, that's wonderful. Are you all are all your companions now Altair knights? No, one of them became our enemy. But I don't want to fight her if possible, that's how I feel. Indeed, there's something sad to find your former comrades. I have no love for conflict, especially between comrades who were supposed to learn and grow together. Sir Master, I too wish to stop the fight between my disciples. That's how I feel. Disciples? Do you mean Sir Merrick? Once upon a time, I had two brilliant young disciples. One was Merrick, the other was Elrin. However, for some reason, Elrin grew to despise Merrick, and the two are now fighting a good deed. Sir Master, I must go to Elrin and bring him, bring him into this battle. My princess. Who would have thought that even Gideon would be our enemy? I'm sure this revelation caused Prince Mark no small pain. What has the world come to? Not only has this part of the but even Gideon are safe as allies in this era. Sir Merrick, a close friend of the prince, is here in Gideon's sanctuary. I am sure the truth will become clear once we're inside the building. Right, Gordon Madison, 3. Hey Madison, you're trained too? Yes, sir. Are you as well, Sir Gordon? Yes, I decided to leave the presence matter for now and do my best on my training. I figured that if I became more useful in battle, I'd naturally learn more imposing. So that's why. I notice you've been fighting for, for far better as of late, Sir Gordon. Really? That makes me happy. So do I look dignified now? Not really. I, I see. 
However, if it isn't, is it fine for you to stay like this, Sir Gordon? Eh? I think your approachability is a quality others lack. I believe that the reason they greeted you, being anxious, knew, being anxious, knew nice themselves, was because you left them at ease. Is that so? Yes. Also, when people have worries that they find hard to divo divulge, they feel like they can discuss them with you, Sir Gordon. Of course, and say if somebody is distressed about romance, were they to thoughtlessly talk to Sir Jing about their problems? <laughs> that wouldn't do. He'd flay them alive. I can hear him already. You forget your duty as a knight. You're right. But uh, keep this a secret from Sir Jing, would you? Don't tell my son that. If he leaks out, he'll flay me alive. <laughs> of course, Sir Gordon. Can we get a defense bomb? Nice. Alright. Alright, Paula and Mass in three. Hang on, let me just close my door. Alright. Alright, sorry if everyone heard that. I'm pretty sure they did. Dame Paula, thanks for helping me the other day again. I hope I wasn't cramping your style. Not at all. You're a great boon. Thanks to you, I can become even stronger and be of greater assistance to Prince Marth. Madison, you really do your best for Prince Mark, don't you? Yes, you speak of my duty and my desire. I see. You're a good knight, Madison. D Dame Paula? Oh, sorry, I wasn't thinking. Do you not like being patted on the head? What? <laughs> no, it's just that you surprised me. I ended up thinking of you as a little brother. Oh my god. Damn. That is, oh, that is harsh. Now that I think about it, I've been treating you like I do my sisters. <laughs> you remind me of my grandfather. Boo, 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 I have a grandfather. I am the avatar. Boo, boo, boo. Oh my right. God. Like, oh my god. Back in my childhood. Hey, Paul, if it is a problem, could you... I'll be able to train from now on, too. If you're around, I feel like you can work even harder. Yes, gladly. I swear to god, I'm dating time... Just training and getting stronger... I know. <laughs> Grandfather, stop. <sighs> stop. Please. Hey, what are you doing here all alone? I'm getting some extra tra <laughs> Oh my god. My guy. I literally just said- whatever. Hmm, don't you get tired from training all the time? I need to do it to become strong. I literally just said this. I literally oh just god. said this crap. <laughs> hmm. Hey. Now that I've had a good look at you, you're not actually that bad looking. But you don't have much of a fashion sense. You're just like Navarre in that way. Well, compared to Navarre, I'm alive at least. Yeah. Here, check me out. My clothes are cute, aren't they? See how they flutter in the wind? You won't be popular with the girls unless you're fashionable like I am. I'd rather focus on my training, thanks. Actually, I don't really like the way you trip. What? Wow. What's wrong with the way I dress? Tell me, don't you find it cute? It's too thin, you're not probably covered. What the? Oh my god. I'm not covered. Oh, so you like what you see then, Madison, you rascal. Look at her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that's really the poker face right there. <laughs> um, no, that's not, what I, that's not what I meant. I just thought I wasn't suited for battle. Oh my gosh, are you embarrassed? Ooh, you're so cute. I'm not cute, excuse me. Hey, wait a second. Oh my god, that was so hard to watch. Alright. Yikes. <laughs> that is a yikes right there. Alright, so let's save and let's go. Merrick, it's time to put an end to this. Wait, El Rain, why do we have to fight? We were both Master Wendell's pupils. We're friends, are we not? Why do you despise me so? I was Master Wendell's disciple before you, and I was the stronger one. Even so, Master Wendell gave you Excalibur. He should have given it to me. Clearly, I was the only one worthy to be a successor, yet he... I have no intention of succeeding Master Wendell. I held no ill feelings for Kadeen, but once I finished studying, I plan to go home. Back in Altair, there's somebody I must protect for the rest of my life. So, Elric, please, why don't you join, force, join us so we can take back Altea? Altea, you say? Why should we help a country that rebelled against the Empire and attempted to invade their fair nation? The mage corpse of Kidney have sworn allegiance to Emperor Hardin. Oh, I see. I knew it was you. You dragged the Altair on me here. No, that's not how it is. Shut your mouth, traitor. I won't listen to your lies any longer. You're a scalper of my throne. We'll put them to the test. Dude, the Excalibur will wreck you. 
Yeah. All right, so we have a new you. We have Merrick here. So Merrick, uh, he is, um, well, he's one of the mages you get. I used him in the prologue. Honestly, I have to say, for Merrick, um, at this stage, I'm actually going to be using him, even though his base stats are a little bit below uh, Lens, mostly for his Excalibur. The Excalibur is a really good tome in this game. Like, Merrick can use it, he, he can use it even though it's a B rank tome. And Merrick's base stats, in my opinion, I feel like aren't too bad, plus he has the groceries to actually back them up. Like, if you give him some time, he'll actually catch up to Lin in no time at all. Maybe a little bit below average by the time end game or late game, but he'll definitely like put in work with the Excalibur tome. And I do think Merrick is a pretty good unit, so... Yeah, um, good growth rates. Okay, base stats for this time point in the game. If he was like promoted, I definitely think he would be shit, but he's only level 11 as a mage, so I rate Merrick, you know, I'm actually gonna give him four out of five stars because the next chapter is gonna really put Excalibur to the true mm -hmm. test. And honestly, like his, his base stats aren't bad, like 10 speed, seven defense, and five rush for a mage right now. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. like, that's more defense and res than Lin has. Like she has, Okay, the same res, but he has more defense. He has more bulk. He's a very bulky and fast mage, in my opinion. Yeah, um, I love Merrick. Um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> but I do have a lot of fun using Merrick. I use him on most runs uh, when I play this game. Um, him and Lind together are just a really good combination, in my opinion. Um, yeah, no, uh, for level 11 mage, his stat, his base stats are pretty okay, you know? Um, I think I'm also gonna give him 4 out of 5 stars, just because, like, he can use Excalibur at E, and Excalibur is really good. Yeah, like, Ubel, it would take him forever to be able to use Excalibur, and Wendell, exactly. like, Wendell can use it at this stage, actually. All right, so what I'm gonna do on this first turn? Okay, actually, I need to mark this guy. Okay, I'm actually okay. I just need to attack him from a distance. Uh, where's Fina? Okay, actually, no, wait. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. What I can do is I can just attack him from. Fina can't walk on water, can she? No, she can. Okay, well, I can just attack this guy from a distance. There we go. Because these guys are strong guys, and once you get them out, this map gets a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Skill and luck. Alright, and thank you for the vulnerary. Right? Let's see, and how does uh, Sita do? Uh, she does okay. Okay. I gotta use a cure on us to take out this guy. Come damn it. Alright, nice. Thank you for the pure water. And Madison, uh,. Also, you don't want to kill the um, um, priest, and also there is a guidance chapter requirement on this map. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, you have to complete this chapter in either 21 turns, or you need to have three or more of the enemy cards survive. And don't kill any of them, like, at all, because the thing is, they're only level 1, and they're not going to give you that much experience. On Lunatic, I do think you should kill them, actually, for a good reason, which we'll get into at the end of, the, of this chapter. I think, Crystal, you already know what I'm talking about. Probably, yeah. Let's see, I'm just going to get these chests immediately. Recover, nice. And I'll actually just dance for Petzl again, and you can get the other chest. If you were playing this map normally, you'd have to send a thief to the other side to actually like go and get those chests, or send Marth. And unlock stuff. So yeah, this is just a stuff that unlocks doors. Honestly, I don't really get that much use out of this stuff. It's a good yeah, staff, either. but I think it's just like, it's one of the more lesser good ones. Okay, I'm actually a little bit worried about Merc because I don't have my, my um, uh, rescue staff anymore. Oh, what? what oh, God, those are shaver. Oh, oh no. Uh oh. And I already used. Oh, man, I should have buried him. Uh. And there's also that silver sword mercenary. All right. Um. All right. Uh. Well. Uh. Let's see how this turn goes. That's all I'm gonna say. 
I'm already seeing a reset. Either Sita's gonna die or Mary gonna, or Paula. I will lose to someone like Mary. Anyone who sides with, with him is my enemy. Thunder, strike them down. Thoron! Oh my god, am I gonna lose Elmer anyway? Honestly, if he dies, I'm not really gonna die. And thank God I have the hand axes. Ow! Ouch. <laughs> oh my God. Nice. Ugh. Ow! Ouch. Oh my God, damn. I can crit too. See, this is one I'm really worried about. Oh, this guy goes for more. Oh wait, is Mark gonna die? Because he gets that silver screen that's gonna wreck him. No, don't heal him up. God damn it. I mean what? Does that guy not move? Oh my god, that guy does not move. That's so stupid. Alright, well, let's go and get those other chests. Physic, nice. I'm actually oh wait, no, I can't use that yet. Magic, skill, speed, luck, res. Hey, nice job. Ow. A boy in large. Okay, nice. But the thing is, though, uh... Okay, yeah, Crystal, I know you're probably gonna hate this, but I think I need to restart this chapter. That's fine. Because the thing is, though, I think I need to bring Malaysia. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't think we're going to be using them. Yeah, I'm not going to bring them. Uh, one no one. That's fair. Yeah, and we'll just review him as an enemy because I'm not going to recruit him because he... He's just not, like, he's not worth it. <laughs> Let's save and let's go. And let me just make a save state here. There we go. I'm still gonna do what I did with this chest last time. Right. Oh my god, I got that good Wendell, that good Etzel level up too. Strength, skill, luck, right? Is the basic step? No, wait, this is the all luck step, damn it. I'm actually going to play out with that for this first turn. There, there we go. Dead. Hit points, strength, skill, speed. Nice job, Paula. Thanks. Shave, we got rid of the, um, uh, the storm guys. Because the thing is, though, I don't have my rescue staff anymore, so I can't, like, you know, rescue Merrick. That's usually what I do on this map. Hellfire, fire, hell fire, killing it. Oh, wait, why did I do this? She's capped. Oh! Oh! Whoa. Okay, fuck you. What was this crit chance? I want to say it was like... Yeah, I was single like digits, eight? maybe? Yeah, eight or nine, I think. Seven? What the- Seven. Oh my god, Elrin, seriously, fuck you. I should've crit- they, he crit me, I had a 20 and he had a 7. Okay, anyway, I'm- I guess we might as well talk about Elrin now, since, you know, we're gonna be cutting him. Yeah, um, might as well. Let me see if I can pull up this quick place, there we go. So yeah, Elrin is, um, not a very good mage in my opinion, he's actually pretty shit. Like, um, if yeah. I had a 3, he actually was, like, um, pretty good, because he actually had a pretty good, like, defense growth and base. 
Here, he still has a pretty good defense base, but not a good, like, defense growth. But, I, mm -hmm. like, I mean, I have to say, like, de 8 defense for a level 10 mage, that's pretty impressive. That's almost as high as Merrick, actually. Um, or that's higher than Merrick. Um, but Elrain's base, as you can just tell by looking at this guy, this guy's awful. Like, 8 magic, 11 speed. I feel like this is what Yubel would be if you actually decided to train him. That's just garbage. Like, 2 luck. His speed is good. Like, it's good. It's better than, um, um Merrick's, and he has the same magic as Merrick. But his growth rates are not as good as Merrick. That's the problem I have with him. Mm -hmm. His growth rates are, like, subpar if you compare to Merrick's. Like, side by side, they're just, like, Merrick's just the better mage. If you decide to use either one. So, yeah. Um, not good growth rates, bad base stats. Um, I'm just gonna count to get the Thorn and Ares. I would bring, um, uh, I would originally, and, like, seriously, the Ares, like, he even comes with a bad, like, you know, um, Star Shard, like skill and luck. Right? right. Speed and luck. Uh, no, it's just skill and luck. Not even speed and luck. Oh, skill and luck. Mm -hmm. It's still pretty bad. Um, yeah, one star unit then, right here. Like this guy's just got kind of awful. Yeah, he's he's on the worst, um, uh, like end of the okay spectrum. If you really are determined to use him, then he can sometimes be okay but not very often um like you said i think merrick is just all around the better choice um yeah no i'm, I'm gonna give him a two i'll okay. be nice all right i mean i have i've done a playthrough right? i did use both of them side by side and he mm -hmm. did have a higher base defense than Merrick by endgame, but that was it. Like, everything else was just below average. Strength, skill, res. Oh man, I got- man, I lost out on that good level. Up. I thought that was the bolt. I thought that was the ammo physics step. I think it's the other one. Alright. Strength, skill, luck. Alright, same level as before. There's the physics staff. Alright, let's see how this turn goes. Don't crit me, you asshole. Okay, there we go. Now what sucks is that any guys you leave- Ow, damn it. That you leave at low HP, they're just gonna get healed up. Oh my god, nice. Ah! Oh. Ow! Oh. Yeah, see, Pain. this is the problem. So many mages. Damn it, I don't want to kill this guy. I want to give it to Sita. And there's a lot of mages coming in. Um, man, if I promote Malaysia, she could actually, like, take them on. We could. <laughs> no, we could. I, I don't think it's worth promoting her. Like, I think she's just, she's just not, plus she's gonna have e rank and tomes. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, Paula can take this guy out. There goes my javelin, damn it. Alright, and as gets a level up, that is level 7, hit points, skill. God damn, I lost. Damn, man, that really sucks. Yeah, I'm just gonna send Mass and then, like, he can just take on all these guys now. Oh nice, I double this guy. Damn. And 
actually, I know what I can do. So I'll actually back off from this side. Then I'll send her this side with the with the X with the Nosferatu tone actually. No, not the thief. Mend up serious. Trade over the barrier staff instead of the Mern. And I'll bury up Bars right here. There we go. And I'll send Sia out to help my mask, even though I don't think he needs it. Yeah, and I'm not gonna attack. Oh, please just kill Merrick. God damn it. Okay, yeah, I'm glad I buried a Barst. Oh, come on! I wonder if she'll double these guys. I don't think so. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, nah. Oh my god, dude, what are you doing? Oh, Silver Bone, damn. What sucks is that all these guys are going to get healed up now because there's so many curates on this map. God damn. Yeah, they all get healed up. That's what sucks. Okay, I can't theoretically kill him. Okay, so Merrick, can he take one more hit? Yeah, he can. Okay. Come on, Sita. I need a crit here. Come on. Come on, girl. Damn it. Damn. Damn, not even TV show can get finish this guy off. Oh, right, my javelin broke. Oh, nice. Good job, pal. Okay, there's no more mages coming in from this side. All right, just a hit axe. God, I love this thing. I can't believe it's this accurate. Love seeing a hundred hit on Max. Ow. Yeah, this axe is actually perfect for you. Because <laughs> they're your yeah. fighters. No, literally. Alright, level up for Bars, level 16, hit point strength, skill, luck. Oh my god, he's cap strength. I think he literally is a I'm gonna promote him right now on this turn. Oh my god, I'm one damage off. Come on, guys. Love for Ryan. Hit points, speed, defense. Nice. 13 defense, Jesus. Alright, let's mend up uh, bars. Let's see. Well, this guy one shots. Okay, he won't one round um, uh, Linda, actually. I'll leave her right here. And I'm actually going to dance for bars. I'm not going to promote him right here, right now. Let's grab a Master Seal. And let's promote the man. Hey. <laughs> Warrior Bars, oh my god, I'm so proud. Look Six at that. hit points, two strength, one skill, one speed, one defense, one res, and one move. And can I use bows? Honestly, I'm impressed with how good he turned out. I'm, I'm very impressed. Like, 
Oh my god, like, Corn and Bordy have gotten nothing on this guy. Oh god, absolutely not. Oh damn, I actually got a little more off that. Alright, hit points, strength, speed, luck. Alright, I'm back to leveling up amazingly. Okay, he's just a seal sword. Can these guys re okay to be on the safe side i'm just going to put merrick right here just so that way okay so we should be fine god damn what well, you're healing them even when it's not even the wait why he moves he moves oh my god fuck this guy yeah homeboy is angry uh, okay i'm fine God, I cannot believe- Oh my god, I dodged that! God. I can understand why they made this home exclusive for women. Like seriously, can you imagine a mirror guy all over this home? Oh god. I mean seriously, they try every game to nerf it and like, it's broken no matter what game you're in. Exactly, yeah, I know. It's always good. Like seriously, even in- oh my god, nice. Even in um, uh, base they try to nerf it and it's still broken as fuck in that game. How? Okay, I'm glad I actually- oh wait, no. How is just gonna get healed up, isn't he? Okay, maybe not actually. Okay, nice. Never mind, he got healed up. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> okay, well, he didn't get healed up to full, at least. Oh my god, see See that can just wreck this point. Just go home. Sit down. Oh my god. <laughs> Out of the critics. Damn. Master Wendell. Yeah, I'm sorry. A little bit. Thank you for the thorn, though. And the Ares. So yeah, the Aries. One skill and one luck. Honestly, not the best of specials. Okay, let's see. We just have this guy left. So how does Mars do against this guy? Oh my god, nice! Can I, let me get the hit axe back out. You know, I'll actually give him a bow. Why not? Oh, 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 oh my god. Take it with a fire tome. Alright, so yeah, we've basically wrapped up this map. Like, there's not a whole lot of enemies left. There. Okay, so. Alright, yeah, let's just see how this goes. I really hope she doesn't kill the guy in front of her because if she does, I'm worried about that mercy right there because he has a killing bitch. Okay, just skip this. Do I have something? Oh yeah, I have the Gemini, I think, so I think that's... Yeah, there we go. Okay, nice. Good job, Gordon. Hey, nice. Oh my god, I didn't even want you on this guy with the aura. Okay, Martha is in range of the chest, so let me see. Recover. Uh, I got this, don't worry. Whew, okay, that was too close. We got the unlock stuff, nice. Uh, 
Hey, nice, okay. Uh, let's just double check. We got all the chests. Yep, okay, nice. And this is why I gave Mark the boost, because if not, he would not be able to reach it on this turn. Alright, let's go. Nice. Alright. I think we did pretty good. Mm hmm. Sire, we've rescued the curse that were threatened by the enemy. Excellent. Good work, Mason. At the same they have offered to give us this. A silver card. So yeah, if um you do not kill any of the cards, you get a silver card. However, if you kill any of them, then you don't get anything. And on Lunatic, to fuck you over, they don't give you the silver card, they give you yeah. a vulnerary. So I think in um Lunatic, <laughs> you should kill them. As little experience you get, I think you should just kill them because just out a of vulnerary, spite. a vulnerary. <laughs> Like, even I'm not that cheap in this game. <laughs> For to literally just get a whole I would just kill him for experience. Mars, do you hear me? Lord God, oh yes I can. You are speaking to me through magic, are you not? Lord God, I must ask, what has, hap what has happened to cause Harden to suddenly just change so much? Hmm, the Dark Spear is the culprit. Harden's soul is trapped within the Dark Spear. The Dark Spear? What on earth is that? Light, star, earth, life, and darkness. In this world, there exists five sacred orbs. The Dark Sphere is that which complements the Light Sphere. In battle, it possesses the enemy's mind, negating their attacks. But the Dark Sphere also amplifies wrath and envy, and can turn its owner into a demon. Harden must have obtained the Dark Sphere from somewhere, and now his heart has been lost to it. But why? He should have been happy after his union was with his beloved Princess Nina, so why the envy? Prince, humans are never such simple creatures. In any case, the only object that can overcome Harden's Dark Sphere is the Light Sphere. If you want to do something about it, then you would best come and get it from me. Huh? Really, Lord Gato? If we have the light sphere, then we can save Harden? Well, if his heart is not completely consumed, then perhaps. Lord Gato, please send the light sphere to me. If you come in person to the Ice Dragon Shop where I reside, where I reside, then you shall have it. But that will be no easy task. So, Mark, do you have the courage to walk the path that Henri walked? Yes, I do. I will go. Please allow me to go. I must have the light sphere. As a man of a word, as a army strategist, I have been observing each and every of our, every of our battles. If I were to sum up your recent fightings, your recent style of fighting, I would say unsatisfactory. It pains me to say what? Well, your comrades have fallen one after another. This way, I worry for the future. Oh, okay, okay. I thought he was like saying that I was bad at combat. Like, dude, have you not seen my base stats? You must protect them from now. Their lives are in your hands, Massey. Yes, Ujig. And now we get these guys. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? I came here because I heard Marth's group was passing by, but, um... Sorry, who are you? I'm Maris, a mercenary and not a cheap one. Oh, it's Maris? I thought it was Maris. Is it Maris? I, I don't know. All right. I'd like to ask you something. Is your prince okay with paying gold? Of course, it's okay if I have to wait until this war's over, so... Mm -hmm. If you, uh, paid us, say, 590 gold for our services, that ought to do, I think. Well, if it's only that much, the Prince Marth would gladly pay. Oof, the rumors are true. He's completely different from all our employers up till now. Right, Pops? He is different. Looks like we hit the jackpot coming to this desert. I'm Dice. On behalf of both of us, it's great to be in your service. Sire, we've received new information. It concerns the assassin's movements. Lord Horus, who thought to ally with us, is in peril. Lord Horus? Master, Lord Horus is an Arcanian knight in Princess Nina's service. He was our ally. Lord Horus, I am Martha Valte. I ask that you lay down your arms. Is Princess Nina safe? We cannot abandon Lord Horus. Jagan, Master, let's hurry. Alright, so yeah, let's. I guess we can do the preparations for today and then end yeah. it. Alright, chapter 10, The Mass Laugh, side story. So, Sire, Lord Horus should be inside this old castle. It seems the enemy has already infiltrated the building. Please be careful, Sire. Alright, let's fight with caution. Oh god, this map. This map oh, right boy. here. Oh yeah. So yeah, this is. Yeah, if, if you need a better reason for why Armonites suck in this map, this map is basically the uh, the answer to that. Oh god, these guys. The wars, all of them. Alright, so let's see. We can only bring seven units, so I think we just need to bring our heavy hitters. You need to bring your heavy hitters, mm -hmm. and. Let's see, so. 
Uh, oh yeah, we also have two units to talk about. So let's talk about dice first. So dice is another fire you get. Honestly, um, as far as dice goes, let me see, where's his growth rates for him? I have them on. Uh, there he is. So yeah, dice is a pretty good, he has like, um, he's basically, I feel like bars, if you didn't like, um, use him like at all mm -hmm. he has like good he has like strength on hearth bars and he has like but his other growth rates are like 40 percent below like he has a fifth like he is a he's almost like a fighter glass cannon i'm not a fan of glass cans in general a fighter glass cans i'm not even a fan of them like he only has a 60 percent strength and 45 percent scale and 40 percent speed and luck and 50 percent defense like that's pretty low for a fighter in my opinion like bars has like how much defense does Bars have? 12 at this stage. Now, provided Bars is promoted, but still, he got like one defense from promotion. Um, he has a good base stats, like 15 strength for a level 12 fire is not bad. But honestly, I have to say, though, this is like, like as far as dice goes, he's not that great in my opinion. Like, yeah, no. I'll give him two stars because he can actually, he has C rank in the axes, so that means he can wield most axes. Like, he can wield the hand axe and the uh, hammer if you want him to. But honestly, I think he's just like, not like yeah, I'm not a big fan of Dice. Um, I just, I honestly just think he's not very good. <laughs> like, that's it. I, I'm also going to give him a 2 out of 5 stars. Okay. Now we have Maris, who is our Myrmidon. So yeah, this is why I didn't, like, care about Navarre dying. So Maris. Um, Maris is the, um, uh, let me see, she's the third Myrmidon? No, fourth Myrmidon you get after Rad, Navarre, and Santo. Uh, Crystal, have you noticed that Maris almost reminds you a little bit of, like, Amalia from, uh, Radiant Dawn? Like, she mm -hmm. has, like, an eye patch, like... Yep. Yeah, and, like, I think they took, like, inspiration from Radiant Like, no, actually, no, wait, this game came first. They took inspiration, like, Amalia's design took inspiration from Maris. Now, people may mm -hmm. actually... I'm, I know it's, like, it's something may sound like a little bit of history, but people may not know who these people are. This is, this is understandable. These guys were part of, like, um, the Arcanea Saga games, which, um, uh... You could um, uh, only play like on a on a super like from a console called the Satella View from the Super Famicom era, so that's why these people may not know them. They were added into the new mystery as a little bit of bonus, and I have to say though, they um, uh, there's a lot of characters like this that we're gonna be seeing. These are the first like two. I think there's like two more instances of, like where we see more characters like this. Um, you can actually play them like on uh, a new mystery, and I think we might actually do that as post game content when we're done with the uh, new mystery itself. Oh yeah. Yeah, because you can play them once you beat the prologue, actually, or you can play it once you beat the prologue. Um, oh, nice. But as far as Maris goes, um, she's actually not that bad. Like she has a forty percent strength, but she has really good skill and speed and good luck too. Her defense and luck is non-existent, but I have to say, though, 10 defense for a Myrmidon at this stage, that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. And I really like do, I really do like Maris, and it's uh, so I think um, I am going to be using her as my Myrmidon of choice. So, I don't think she's spectacular yet, but still, she has C-Rank and Swords, though, and good base stats for level 10. I think I'll rate Maris 3 out of 5 stars. I think that's a justifiable rating for her. Yeah. I love Maris. Like, she is also my Myrmidon of choice, um, partly because, like, she's a good unit and also because, like, a female Myrmidon is pretty cool. She gets access to the Lady Sword. I love the Lady Sword. Um, yeah, no, I think she's just all around really solid. She's very consistent in my experience. Like, she consistently turns out pretty good. Um, yeah, I... I'm going to give her a 4 out of 5 stars. Alright, nice. Yeah, I was like thinking about like Candace for the Lady Sword. That's why I haven't, because we got one like back in like Chapter 2. I didn't sell it yet because mm -hmm. I was going to give it to Maris. Oh, yeah, we also have some Killing Edges here too. Yeah, the Lady Sword, like it's a really good sword. Like it's an E-ranked sword too. That's what's mm -hmm. so great about it. 12 Knight. Oh yeah, we also have a Bullion. We should, oh my god, we could sell that actually. And, oh yeah, we also have some money, too. We have some leftover money, so I think we can actually, like, go into the jewel grounds, too. For the money. I mean, you can promote her right off the bat, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna give her, like, a few levels, at least. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, we'll do these, um, uh, after, like, we get yeah, so, so we have So we have three more units to pick. Um, I think I will actually bring Sirius, and I'll bring Fina, and I'll bring... I'll bring Merrick too. I do want to give Merrick. I want to. Mm -hmm. We're gonna send Merrick into the arena, obviously. Let's see if 
Elfire, Elfire. Oh, wait, he can't. Oh, Elf. Oh, Thorn's Searing. Okay. He came with Blizzard either. Okay, so. And. Yeah, okay, so. I think I remember... Oh, wait, did I deposit. Oh, yeah, I have to deposit the dice and stuff. So let's go into the drill round, so let's see. Um, I think I'm gonna send Martin first, because I just wanted to get him to at least level 13. Oh wait, why am I willing the Arms Blade? God damn it. Alright, level for Marth, level 13. Hit strength, skill, speed, luck. Nice. Eh, why not? He'll win this. Ow. He's... Oh, thank you, okay. I was hoping he would be perfect. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, no. Okay, yeah. That's where he backs out. I don't want to waste the scalper. That's the thing. Okay, yeah, closer. Let's just speed this up. No. Oh, what? Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, it's... God damn it. Okay, night, thank you. Okay, I'll actually take this off. Level 12, hit points, magic speed. Nice. Nice. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, you know, Excalibur time. Hopefully he can win this one. There we go. Nice. Okay. Nice level up. Level 12. 13 hit points. Luck defense. Nice. Ah, damn it. And Lind. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay, nice. I was just saying Gordon in once. God, I cannot believe how much, how little damage he takes. I know, it's amazing. Ah, okay, why not? Level up for Gordon, level 15. Strength, skill, luck. I think I'm gonna promote mm -hmm. Gordon, honestly. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, there she is. Oh, yeah, why not? Okay, yeah, I'll send Marison. I just love her purple hair palette. Me too. She looks so good. Uh, will she win this? Yes. Okay. Let's see if you don't get any money from this, because I would like to use this money to, like, forge something. Okay, there we go. Nice. I don't think she, like the maximum I've been able to do is like two rounds of these two rounds. She will also win that. Nice. Oh my god. Nice. Yeah, I cannot believe this. Like she's this. Like this is the most I've gone. Oh my god. Damn. Oh my god. Skill, speed, luck. Hey, nice. Okay. She will not win that. Okay. Nope. Alright, 
level up again. Hit point strength luck. Nice. Hey, I'll take it. No, she won't win that. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know, I think I'm actually gonna stop for now. Alright, so let's go into the uh let's go in and uh, promote um uh Gordon now. Alright. Sniper Gordon. So yeah, here's Gordon's promotion boss. He already gets eight hit points. Oh my god. Eight hit points, two strength, one magic, five skill, five speed, one defense, three res, two moves. And he's about to get A rank and bows too. So yeah, I gotta say, um, pretty good base stats actually. Mm -hmm. like, if you compare it to George, like let's see, where is George? I can see he has three more strength, um, three more skill, same speed, six more luck, one more defense, and same res actually. Yeah, oh my god, damn, I can't believe Gordon- yeah, so, do you think Gordon's a good unit now? <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good. I think those sniper bonuses really benefited him. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously, eight hit points, and, like, plus, we have Ryan, too, and Ryan's gonna be way mm -hmm. better, like, he's gonna get- sexy. Yeah, Ryan's gonna be better, I think. Yeah, he'll, like, he'll have more, like, um, speed and skill, but Gordon's gonna have more damage on what I feel. Mm-hmm. Alright, and let's see, um... Do. So I don't think I have any like stat boosters left. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, do I have a javelin? Okay, I do. And I would like to forge something. So, let me see. Do I have anything? Okay, I have an iron sword. I have a steel sword. I'm not selling the devil sword. I'll sell that eleven sword though. Maris came with one, so I don't feel bad about selling one. I can sell this steel axe. Uh, let's see. Um, I can steal this heal staff. I don't know if it's worth selling the unlock staff or not. Okay, so how many units do we have left for more? I'm actually wondering about this. So we have one, two, three, four. Oh wait, that's it? Only four units left, actually. Oh, five. No, no, no. I see it's going to be using at least a Oh, right, the leasing whip. Yeah. yeah. We're going to get that next up now. Alright, so I'm actually going to... I'm, this is for the next map, actually. Mm -hmm. So let me see. Um, We got a dragon pike from, um, uh, from Minerva, and I'm actually going to forge that. Let's see, where is it? Uh, there it is. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. And I know exactly what I'm gonna call this. Oh my god. Fusroda. I love it. Skyrim. Right <laughs> Representing. And let me see, where's Paula? There she is. Uh, wait, let us just see that happen. Okay, I don't need that much. Yeah, yep, Fusroda. Represent. I can't wait to use it next map. Alright, so let's talk. Current status. According to reports, Sir Horus, a knight who was once our comrade, is in peril. Sir Horus is an Arcanian knight, but he has sworn loyalty to Princess Nia, not to Emperor Hardin. He said he wishes to join us again. We must resume him without fail. Oh god. Here we oh, go. Oh boy. <laughs> Hello, Madison. Oh, Malaysia. I hear you've stopped sneaking into Prince Mars' room. That's one less thing for me to worry about. Yes, actually, I've been wondering. 
How should I handle my feelings for Prince Mark? I see you finally understand. You let your imagination run wild. It's time to face reality like an adult. I'm already an adult. I felt the same way back when I lived in my village. But now that I've become a knight and fought all these battles, they see clearly. I was a child back then. I hadn't seen enough of the world. Is that so? Yes, you're still young. You should think carefully about your life. You will continue to mature and gradually become a much more charming woman. Madison. Thank you, Madison. I'm just glad you understand. Say, Madison. Where would you like to hold our wedding? What? <laughs> prince Marth is out of my league, but you're strong and kind. Maybe you could be my prince instead. When I'm afraid in battle, you whisper to me, It's alright, I'm here by your side. When have I ever said that? I think you're <laughs> awful. <laughs> She's so creepy. And then you embrace me tightly. Silly Malisha. Alright, alright. Come back when you're an adult. Enough already. You're always treating me like a kid. I'm already a grown-up. A few years from now, I'll be super pretty, and it'll be too late for you to slave for my attention. Good luck. She's Bye. so creepy. Yeah. Oh, Linden and Madison 3. Okay. Here, Madison. I want to give you this. This is, um... It's a good luck charm. This kind is very popular in the palace town. It's supposed to protect its wearer from tragedy. Huh? Are you sure you, should, you want to give me something so expensive? If you want more strawberries, I can just go get some for you. Hey, do you really think I'm giving you this in exchange for strawberries? I'm giving it to you because you always protect me on the battlefield. Right, but we're in this together, aren't we? I wouldn't have been able to get this far without your help either. Madison, why do you protect me? Neither of us has a family anymore, that's why. So when I saw you fighting, I'm not sure how to say it, but I knew I had to protect you. I see. I feel the same way, and that's why I wanted to protect you. It's funny the way things turn out. I had no idea it would happen. And yet, we both came to feel this way after fighting together. Lind. So, that's why I'm giving you this. Your face- you face the most danger in battle. So stop being shy and take it. I see. In that case, I'll gladly accept it. You'd better cherish it, too. Yes, of course I will. Alright, Magic Bond. Alright, Bars to Mass in 2. Bars, I want to ask you a question. Oh, if it ain't Madison, what is it? Ask away. You said you did all sorts of things up the War of Shadows. What things did you mean? Oh, that. I don't mind telling you, but why do you want to know? I was raised by my grandfather, and I've always aspired to be a knight. I never once considered doing anything else with my life. But you aren't a knight, so... I got you curious, huh? Yes, a bit. I see. Well, it ain't a very interesting tale, so don't complain to me later, okay? Don't worry about it. My grandfather used to say, nothing we do is in vain, after all. <laughs> you really do have a good teacher. Alright, listen up then, Madison. First, I gotta talk about Talus. Then there's my stint in... My stint in Arcanea. Wait, I need to defend my pirating days, too. The pirating? Yep. Okay. Oh, boy. Sita and Malaysia, too. Good day, Princess Sita. Good day, Malaysia. I've been thinking about what you told me ever since, and... Don't tell me you're planning to wed Marth. Ooh, how did you know? I'm so embarrassed. Hey, Malisha, I wonder if you're aware that Marth happens to be engaged? Yes, Sir Jaken told me. But since it's Prin Prince Marth, I'm sure he has deep reasons. I shall keep on waiting for him, always. Uh, I see. Good luck. Thank you for your support, Princess. I'll do my best. I couldn't tell her I'm the one he's engaged to. However, I mustn't let this, let this misunderstanding last any longer. I have to make her listen next time. Jesus Christ, this girl is insane. Okay, so let's see. Um, 